An amazing astronomical discovery coming from the small town of Stansbury Park, but this is not the first for this so-called amateur astronomer. Tonight, Dan Rescone takes you inside the story of Mr. Supernova. And Dan, how many supernovas does this make? Mark and Chana, this makes three supernova discoveries for Patrick Wiggins, along with his several minor planets he's also found across the years. Just so you know, discovering a supernova is no easy task. It takes thousands of hours of stargazing. What am I going to do? Stansbury Park, Tired. a place where you can always find plenty of kids, oh. including 63-year-old Patrick Wiggins, who is definitely a kid at heart. When it comes to his enthusiasm, welcome to my world, about what's inside these buildings. They are part of the observatory complex, located at the edge of the pond. Aha, it worked. This is where Wiggins comes alive with excitement as he gets a chance to fire up. And then we push the button. These massive telescopes. I will admit most people, when they hear what's involved, they're gonna go, he's crazy. His tedious work all starts when the sun goes down. Switching between pictures. Hit night after night. Tink, tink, tink. And the stars. And doing that about 600 times. <laughs> begin to light up. Foom, foom, foom. The sky. I am a night person. Oh. Wiggins is considered an amateur astronomer, but he's anything but ordinary when you realize what he's discovered. All of a sudden, there's this little boop, and it's like, so it goes boom, boop, boom, boop, and it's like, wow, something's there. In the wee hours of Mother's Day, Sunday morning, boom, hit my telescope, right? And ta-da, we got a supernova. Wiggins found but there's this bright light and that wasn't there before. His third supernova. Ta-da! which is the aftermath of a massive star explosion. 22 million light years away. Uh, that means that it actually happened 22 million years ago, right? And the light from the detonation has been traveling through space since before humans were humans. It took him a couple of hours to confirm his find, but soon astronomers across the globe were checking out his latest discovery. Professional telescopes were swerving over to look at what little old me in little Stansbury Park, Utah, had found. And that, that's, it's, it's an ego rush, I'll admit it. Discovering his third supernova literally took thousands of hours of stargazing. For 1,051 nights of looking, I have three supernovae. <laughs> Wiggins admits. I have no life. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But says his work is worth it. Because literally I am contributing to the body of scientific knowledge. That's why I do it. Have a look at Jupiter. And that will only continue to help Wiggins in his quest. What? To quote. If there was a planet. Boldly go. Orbiting that star that had life on it. Where no man has gone before. I mean, that planet's not there anymore. <laughs> you know, maybe I've witnessed the end of a civilization. Well, the Stansbury Park Observatory Complex is open to the public, and this Saturday they will be actually unveiling one of their largest amateur telescopes in the world, which is the size of a school bus. For more on that, go to our website, KUTV.com.